In the previous video, I showed you how to move content from the content library where students can access it into the teacher only space. At this stage, all my content is here in the teacher only space. Now I can leave it here until I create a new class notebook in 2019 and I can then drag and drop or right click and move the content into my new class notebook. However, I'm going to show you how to export. Now you don't need to do this because your files are safely stored on OneDrive and therefore they are backed up and even if your school laptop dies or has some technical problem, you'll be able to access this class notebook again. But it's also worthwhile having a secondary backup on a device like an external drive. And this is what I call a rainy day backup. Say you have no access to OneDrive and you suddenly need to quickly get your OneNote files. That's where you would go to a rainy day backup and in this case that could be an external drive or a thumb drive like a USB. So let's now go through some of the export options. And I'm at the moment in a section called Teacher Only Pages. What we do is we go File, Export. Now here we have three global options. We can export the page that we're on, which is this Learning Pit page, or the section, which is this Teacher Only Pages section, all of these pages that we can see. Or, if you have a lot of time, you can export the entire notebook. And that is every section, every section group, and everything inside it. If we go up, it's also going to export the collaboration space, anything in the content library, which should already be empty, and all of your student work as well. So all of the students in this class notebook, everything that they have ever done, this all gets exported as well in one simple command. I'll go back into my teacher only section. Now I wouldn't recommend that you actually export the entire notebook. While this might be useful, it will give you a very long and a very slow progress bar. It will take more time, but I would highly recommend that you export sections instead. So in this demonstration, I'm going to, let's go back, we're in the Teacher Only Pages section. I want all these pages, File, Export, Section, and we always use the top one, which is the OneNote option. Click on that and hit Export. We've got the confirmation here. We're exporting the current section. It always grabs the name from the tab, Teacher Only Pages, and I'm going to export it to the desktop, so I'll hit Save. This will be a fairly quick process, and you can now see as we go through all of these pages in this section are sitting in the open section here. Now you might be wondering where did my class notebook go? If you click here, it's still there. But all this is doing is OneNote is giving us just the file that we've exported. If I go to my desktop, it's right here, Teacher Only Pages. So I can simply right click and I can close this open section. This now throws me back into all of my existing class notebooks and any other notebooks that I've got open. So you can repeat this process. Yes, it is tedious. Unfortunately, I wish it were. Otherwise, you can't right click and export a section. Uh, we can't even kind of click here and go file, export section group. So yes, it is tedious, but you will have to go through term two, select the tab, file, export, section, OneNote, export, name, we might need to rename this term 2-sculpture, save. Having done that, it's going to open the section that we just saved. Yep, that's what it's called, right click, close. Let's do another desktop check. 
desktop, there it is. So yes, you can do this. It is tedious, as I've said, but it's probably the safest way because if you do try to export the entire class notebook, be prepared for that to take some time and you may not need everything in it anyway. There is one shortcut if you uh, do have a lot of tabs to export. I've been clicking here and going File Export. If that's too slow for you, you can click on the tab, right click and the export option is there as well. That takes you straight through to where you'll be naming it. Again, let's call it Term 2 Ceramics. Current section, OneNote format, save. So do you have to do this? No. Uh, it's just a good rainy day policy and if you are leaving the college or you want to access this without access to OneDrive, that's another reason why you would be exporting your sections.